What's up everybody, it's your boy Hoop Jargon back with another video. Before I get into the content, you know I gotta get the YouTube stuff out the way. Man, if you could like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know, we crossed recently a thousand subscribers. I couldn't think of the number. I just gotta say a million. Nah, I ain't there yet. Shout out to Kevin Sanders, man. Uh, so, uh, we were at actually at 1,000.03, which means 35 plus of y'all are taking me way over the subscriber count. And I really appreciate y'all, man. So y'all take a moment. Go ahead and hook me up. I would very much appreciate that. All right. Now, let's get into the content now. I told y'all I'm going to cover more than just Jackson State. This HBCU lane. And I got to show big props to my school, Prairie View A&M University. Yeah. So this is a very good signing with Jawan Pass. And so I'm going to call this his redemption tour. So as you know, Jawan Pass was a former four-star prospect. He also was the number 10 quarterback, number 191 overall um, prospect, according to Scout.com. And he also was the number nine dual threat quarterback in the ESPN 300. So these are not accolades to shake a stick at, you know, and I mean, I think we all understand that. And so for those who didn't watch Louisville post Lamar Jackson, Jawan is supposed to be Lamar Jackson part two. And he's bigger. He's six foot four, 230. Now, he had a lot of issues. If you kind of chronicle his career, um, in 2016, he started off as a red shirt. No shame in that. Um, in 2018, he actually had a really good year. 54% um, completion. I mean, you want a little better than that, but a dual threat quarterback, you know there's going to be some accuracy um, discrepancies. Um, and, and that's no big deal. Um, but he did have um, almost 2,000 yards passing. He had eight touchdowns and 12 interceptions. Now, I understand, again, with the accuracy thing, you definitely want the touchdown to interception radio, ratio rather to be a lot better. But he did have an overall quarterback rating of about 110. So this guy can play. And that year, he also played 11 games with nine starts, having pretty good performances against Notre Dame and Alabama if you go to the film. So, you know, uh, he's the guy who's going to go out here to pray with you, you know, and on the swag level, which I will say this, the swag is, is fairly loaded up, man. So the swag of old with a lot of, you know, I mean, if we're going to keep it a beam, let's talk about how it is. A lot of penalties, a lot of um, undisciplined in certain spaces. But the overall talent pool is about to, you know, it's been jumping up. So um, I'm really, really, really looking forward to see how he responds to that. And I'm just saying, last time we had a quarterback from Louisville, Kentucky, was K.J. Black. You know, the offensive, uh, the co-offensive coordinator, actually, at FAMU now. But in 2009, he came over from Western Kentucky over to Prairie View, and we only, you know, won a swag championship. You know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> if Jawan wants to keep the K.J. legacy going, by all means, my brother, do that. We need that over there. So, to kind of, again, chronicle his career, in 2019, he did have a season-ending um, surgery. Uh, he got injured against Notre Dame. He tried to come back again against Eastern Kentucky and re-aggravated, and so he kind of took the L from there. So, And that's why I'm saying this is going to be his redemption tour. So, you start out very badly. He was supposed to be Lamar Jackson 2.0, and we know what Lamar Jackson's doing right now. He was only, what, your 2020, I'm sorry, 2019 NFL MVP. You know what I'm saying? As uh, Manny French said, you underdid so <laughs> Lamar Jackson turned out all right. So, man, hopefully, you know, Jawan, and the great thing about coming to the SWAC, when you may start off at a higher program, is you have an opportunity to really make some of yourself. And the late great Tavares Jackson was a great testimony of that. You know, he started off at um, Arkansas, transferred over to um, Alabama State, and uh, he only went on to what, the, the National Football League? You understand what I'm saying? He was the successor to Brett Favre, if you guys don't know his story for the Vikings, and that's, that's, we're talking old Brett Favre when he went over to the Vikings, so there's a great, I mean, there's precedence for this type of situation, and I'm really glad to see him coming, and that's a little bit of, of uh, confusion, because uh, Jawan actually committed to Tosin initially, but he entered the transfer portal in uh, late April, so it's, um, nobody really knows why he did that, but hey, I ain't worried about all that. I want to see him in that purple and gold so we can give Jackson State a run for their money. So I'm excited about this. I hope y'all excited about it too because all this does just elevates the level of the overall brand that is the SWAC, man. And so Prairie View already got that defense. So now you got a dynamic uh, two-way, well, I'm sorry, a dual-threat quarterback that's going to come in and challenge those defenses all throughout the SWAC. And it's going to be very interesting, man. 
I'm just, I'm just saying, man. 6'4", 230, sign me the F up. <laughs> you know, a former, again, a former four-star product. That's what you, the kind of guys you want to bring in. And he's a red-shirted senior, so he's coming in. He has his degree already, so he can play immediately. So I'm excited. I hope y'all excited, man. It's going to be a great year for the SWAC. Till next time, who jargon? Out. <laughs>